today on the Best of the Voice Worldwide. The voice is unique because this is where music should start from. The sound that you hear, not the marketing, not the look, not the story, just the voice. Eight years ago in the Netherlands, the world's biggest singing competition was born, with 66 editions on five continents and over 180 countries tuning into The Voice. The mission is to find that superstar. The very best performers from all corners of the world. Watch coaches being blown right out of their chairs. That was really amazing. Thank you. You smashed it. You could win this show. Extraordinary performances, but also the extraordinary stories behind the talent. I got bullied a lot. I'm not, I'm not complaining, it's wonderful. See the biggest talent and the most stunning moments on... The Best of the Voice Worldwide. The launch of a new season is always special. You want to kick off with a bang, and that's what the American voice coaches do. Christina Aguilera, Blake Shelton, Adam Levine, and Pharrell Williams show what they've got with a golden oldie from Stevie Wonder. Way McDonald didn't have an easy time of it at school. 17 years old, she's a phenomenal singer with enormous talent. Although she does have an unexpected speaking voice. I know what it's like to be judged. This show doesn't judge you on your looks. It judges you on the voice that you have. Birds flying high, you know how I feel. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Wow. Breeze drifting on by, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. Nice job, nice job. Yeah. Sent up a pie, you know how I feel. Oh, freedom is mine. I know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day. It's a new life. It's a new dawn, it's a new day. It's a new life, it's a new life. Yeah. 
My name is Wayne McDonald. Oh. Hi. And I'm... What is that speaking voice? And I'm 17 years old. Wow. Oh. Not the voice I was expecting after that voice. <laughs> I just feel so much inside of you, and that's what we need in music. It's phenomenal that you say something like that to me because I was bullied for the longest time, and I was ashamed of who I was. It's the scariest thing in the world to feel alone, but you're definitely not. You have four people that are about to, trust me, <laughs> yeah. go ham yeah. to get you on their team. I would do anything to be your coach. Oh. No, no question about it. But, I believe that. And your family apparently likes that. So, uh, <laughs> Let's bring them out. Beautiful. You got to be the coach. Pick Alicia. This girl is on fire! This girl is on fire! When more than one coach presses their button, a tug of war begins. After all, they want the biggest talent on their team. It's almost like a bidding war, one that knows no limits. Who do y'all think Dustin should pick as his coach? I mean, can you just uh, <laughs> my, my fans over there? <laughs> I didn't even know you had those. That's <laughs> weird. I'm a stupid idiot. Vote for me. <laughs> He's incredible. So is she. <laughs> but you're going to be performing. You're going to be performing for TV. It's a whole new world. Have you ever done that before? Absolutely. I not. have. I have. <laughs> you know what I'm mean, saying? I, I can two. help you with that. I have two. You guys, why don't you step away from the artist? You just have to be clear. There's nothing that makes me happier than the destruction of Blake Shelton. Like. <laughs> I want <laughs> nothing more than to show him that I can bring a country singer all the way to the top. And if necessary, bring along a few props. Honestly, I love South Korea. I love it. So do I. I love it. I was in South Korea maybe like seven months ago. I bought this bag there. <laughs> cool bag. Really, because you sing so powerful, I have to say it extra louder. You need to be in my team. <laughs> be in my team. Be me. Yes, they're nuns, but they're blind auditions, so habits don't play a role. Until the coaches turn around, that is. Posso dare del tu quanti anni hai? Assolutamente sì, ho 25 anni, sono suor Cristina. Ma sei una suora vera o ti Sono una suora verissima. Non lo so, ma tu canti la domenica in chiesa? Sì, assolutamente sì. Tu sai che nella musica funziona molto il gioco dolce, salato, no? La carezza e lo schiaffo. Io e te siamo imbattibili, lo sai perché? Siamo il diavolo e l'acqua santa, devi venire con me. Devi venire con me. 
No, ti prego, cioè... Io sono l'acqua santa come te, siamo un duo impeccabile, non scegliere i diabli. Io mi ero detto che il primo che si fosse girato sarei andato da lui, quindi ho dato il cazzo. has met a background singer with an impressive track record. It was now high time for her to shine in the spotlight all by herself. My name's Michelle John, I'm 43 and I'm a backing singer. I live at home with my son, his name's Carlos, he's 18. He's lovely, he's my bodyguard. You're so used to doing everything for everyone else, which is great. I'm not, I'm not complaining, it's wonderful. But then you kind of need a minute to sort of find to who you are. Michelle came, saw and was embraced by the audience. She and coach Will I Am selected her ideal repertoire and then she proceeded to sing all her team members home. Yeah, that's great. Everybody's going to be like, what? I want to enjoy every second of it, but I want to sing my socks off. She reached the final with songs that included this Shaka Khan classic. <laughs> Fire department. <laughs> you smashed it. Yeah! Walking towards the podium and facing the backs of four red chairs is intimidating to say the least. But the magic boom of the button, and preferably as fast as possible, that's what they dream about. Oh! It didn't just happen to Jenny Lena. Let's do a lightning fast button pushing round, starting in Australia. This is a The American coaches are always on high alert. I could find a way. To see this straight and run away to some fortune that I yeah, should have found. Oh, I feel good. I knew that I would not. I feel good. I knew that I would not. Take it, babe. Woo! 
It's not unusual for coaches to waste no time in turning, like in Portugal, when the 29-year-old Dejana Lukash performed. No But the speed with which all coaches turned for Charlie Lushka was unparalleled. We're going back to 2011, the second season of The Voice of Holland. It's when we see Charlie glide over the finish line in record time. This is a man's world. This is a man's world. Oh. <laughs> but it would be nothing. Nothing. As a coach, you judge the blind audition solely by the voice. A voice leads to a preconception which often turns out to be true, though sometimes it doesn't. Party girls, don't get hurt, can't feel anything. When will I learn? I push it down, I push it down. Yeah. I'm the one for a good time call. Phones blowing up, ringing my doorbell. Feel the love. Feel the love. Oh, one, two, three, one, two, three, drink. One, two, three, one, two, three, drink. One, two, three, one, two, three, drink. Throw it back till I lose count. Oh, you're the sweet from the shade of the hill, from the shade of the Full until morning light Cause I'm just holding on for tonight On for tonight On for tonight Oh my god, you shot me! You're so rude! I don't know if I'm happy or really scared <laughs> What's your name? My name is Jordan Smith. Where are you from? I'm from Harlan, Kentucky. You do not look like your voice, FYI. But I get that, that a that's lot. the super coolest part about it, is that all of that individuality standing on stage right now. Thank you. With every person that turned around, you got better. That shows me how ready you are for this. And seeing these people smiling and clapping and seeing these guys and their reaction to you was such a beautiful experience. And thank you, Jordan. That was really amazing. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that a lot. And obviously, my voice is different. I get called ma'am on the phone all the time. Me too. I get called ma'am at every drive through Through that, I had to learn that being different is actually what made me special. Yeah. It's my gift. And so this, for me, is just an amazing opportunity to share that it's OK to be different, and it's OK to be yourself, because you're made that way. And that's how God intended you for you to be. Wow. I think. I'm the best coach for you. Out there, you're supposed to say, I agree. 
Who do you pick as your coach? I pick Adam. When you hear true talent as a coach, you want to get to work. And if you're sitting there and you hear someone singing your own song, then you A, hope it's good, and B, that it'll work to your advantage when the talent has to choose a coach. That happened to voice coach Adam Levine, who's also the singer of Maroon 5. I'll sing Sunday morning, Maroon 5. Steal some cover shells. That may be yours. So, you chose Sunday morning which is my song. <laughs> Anyone that loves and appreciates what we do and then comes out here and does it for us is bold. I heard a quality in your voice that, that did remind me of mine, and you got a great voice, man. Thank you. Man, but I'll tell you what, I heard a guy that was badass. And if you want the truth, you should be on my team. <laughs> Listen, you can make a lot of decisions right now. Uh, you could pick one of these guys and lose. Or you could pick me and you could win. I'll say one thing. I'll say one thing. You picked my song. I think I'm gonna have to go with Usher. Yes, that can happen too. As a coach, you don't always have the home advantage when someone sings your own song. It's not uncommon for talents to choose the repertoire of the coaches, and coach Alicia Keys goes all out to ensure victory. For my blind audition, I'm gonna be singing If I Ain't Got You by Alicia Keys and I can't believe I'm actually gonna be able to perform it in front of the person that I've idolized. I hope and pray that she's gonna really love it. All right. to make an ass out of myself to show you how badly I want to be your coach. That's right. I'll do stupid stuff like that right there. Your voice is undeniable. And for you to be able to have the courage to sing in front of her already shows who you are as an artist. If you want to sing Alicia and then go with me and confuse everybody. <laughs> You're an incredible singer, and you Thank look you. like a superstar you, standing up there. You're yeah. beautiful. I just want to say, some people I can't, but I don't want nothing at all. Damn. If it ain't your Lauren. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. I got it, your Lauren. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. Don't just on everything, but everything it means nothing. If I ain't got you. Who do you think is your coach? 
I pick Alicia Keys! Lauren Diaz chose her biggest idol. That was the first surprise, but there was another surprise in store for her. I have never heard anyone sing that song like that. I am so I blessed to be like here, that. and I can't even begin to think what's going to happen next. Oh, oh my God! Oh my God. No. My mind is well. This is crazy. Oh my God! Yes. Oh. I'm ecstatic. Excited for our future together, and really excited for her right now, and what her future holds. Oh my gosh! I'm engaged. This is Judah Kelly, a guitarist in obscure bands and a regular on the wedding circuit. He'd heard he wasn't bad at singing, but it took a while before he dared to perform on the Voice Down Under. Pretty much earn all of my income from uh, playing support gigs for other people while they sing. I've gotten pretty used to life in the background. It's a lot less stress. Used to spend my nights at the bar. There's nothing like your love to get me hurt. It's Tennessee whiskey. Where are you from, man? My name is Judah Kelly. I'm 20 years old, and I'm uh, from Laidley in Queensland. And where have you been hiding? How do you hide a voice like that? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Usually playing the backing bands. That's very selfish of you to be hiding <laughs> such selfish. a beautiful yes. voice. I mean, that was effortless. You, you just got one of those great, you could win this show. Yeah. You have the potential to go all the way to the end. I just think I would be the best person to coach you, basically. Aww. All right, my friend. <laughs> the decision is yes. yours. Yes. Um. Yeah. I've got to have you. Uh. Come on. I'm going to work with you. You know, um, I, th I think I'm going to go with Delta. <laughs> During the 10th season of The Voice USA, the coaches were surprised by a young woman for whom a musical DNA test would have been unnecessary. Even without a cowboy hat, it was abundantly clear what she was doing there. My name is Kata Hay and I'm 28 years old. I moved to Nashville six months ago with my girlfriend, Savannah. And I love it. There's music everywhere. Somebody trip. <laughs> that was amazing.
sweet, that sweet champagne. I'd rather drink beer all night in a tavern or in a honky town. I wanna hold with your drop dead gay. See, I got posters on my wall of skinny, kitty stray. Some people look down on me, listen. First of all, okay, I got so much to talk to you about. So, so we're all sitting there ready for singing, right? Yeah. So I'll be, I'll be you, okay? <laughs> so we're, we're back there, and here's what we hear before you start. <laughs> I was like, damn, I was like, she's in a hurry. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, no, it, good, don't ever change. Yeah. And then, before my chair is fully turned around, I hear that noise again, <laughs> and it's like, And you're coming at me. <laughs> what is your name? Kata. And I knew you, you said? We used to sing together at the Oklahoma Opry when oh. I was three, and you had a mullet. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were the only one who would turn around. Really? I'm kind of disappointed. I mean, I'm not. <laughs> oh, oh, so we're just chopped liver. We just mean nothing. No, Dance you were all. my official first girl crush. So. Oh, hey. Yeah. <laughs> I can work with that. I can work with that. <laughs> You're so freaking beautiful in person. You're I'm... so freaking beautiful. Should we just make out now? Please. That was your Whoa! first Please. Let's just get it over with <laughs> so we can get to work. Oh! <laughs> I just respond to fiery, spunky, fun personality. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Wake up, wake up, wake up. If you pick me, there's more of that to come. <laughs> Who do you pick as your coach? <laughs> I pick Christina. It was inevitable, and in order to prevent school rebellions, we simply couldn't do otherwise. The kids have their own voice. This is a man's world. Yeah! Let's jump! Okay, is that good? You can't start young enough. And the singing guppies can't wait to jump out of the musical breeding pond, like when we became acquainted with 14-year-old Jess Folly. And she smashed it. Your voice is like a powerhouse, and every note you go for, you hit. Hit it. I'm gonna go with... Pixie. Yeah. Coach Pixie Lot did not shy away from a difficult repertoire. Love on Top by Beyonce. Oh my god. Beyonce, it's like the queen of pop music ever. Beyonce isn't child's play, but in the final, Jess totally delivered and headed home with the title. Honey, honey, I could 
can see the stars all the way from here. Can't you see the glow on the window pane? I can feel the sun whenever you're near. Every time you touch me, I just melt away. Everybody asks me why I'm smiling at from me to Coach, you sit in the red chair all day, and for some, boredom sets in faster than for others. You're trying, Will. <laughs> Will, what did you get? This work of art ultimately played a larger role than expected. And action! I'm Lawrence Hill, I'm 25 years old, and I play guitar and sing for a living. Of all the gigs that I've had in the past, this has to be the biggest. This really could be the performance that changes everything. It means everything in the world. So, it's big. I want this to be my future. It's now or never. Hey, I'm Lawrence Hill. I'm 25 years old. Where are you from? I'm from Hertfordshire, in just above London. Oh, cool, great. Hey, so check this out. Sometimes magical things happen, <laughs> and that was a magical thing. Before you went on, I was like drawing on my button, right? The face I drew, if you believe in like enchanted events in life, so I'm thinking that you channeled the face I drew, and then I realized there was a smudge on it. So you're singing, right? So I'm like, oh, shucks, let me, like, clean the smudge off. I swear to you, as I was cleaning his eyebrow, I pushed down on the button harder than I should, but then I'm like, oh, shucks, I didn't hit the button. But then I'm like, okay, but he is pretty dope, though. So, so that, that button might have been the strangest turnaround I've ever heard of. That is probably the strangest turnaround, what is the turnaround? in the history of turnarounds. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. So let's go. Yeah. 
<laughs> He's gonna spank the hell out of Gavin's team. What the heck? What the heck? We up in. But... I've never felt so insulted yet happy at the same time. <laughs> 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 Viewers and the audience were treated to a group performance by our coaches. Tom Jones, Jesse J, Will I Am of the Black Eyed Peas, and Danny O'Donoghue of the script delved into one another's vast repertoires and decided to sing each other's not insignificant hits. Thank you. 